that's the that biggest uh, good song because it's that's what's happening for us. From Sunday we are here to still suffering. Wow. Yes, from Sunday. You're still here. You were still here and never give a full name for accommodation, you know. We still uh, sleeping over in, in the floor. It's my last time to You're gonna use it. I will never never yeah. use it. Yeah, from Sunday, from Sunday, yeah, from Sunday they come there yeah, to now. Me and my daughter, from Sunday last night up to now. Today we are taking another plane to go to take another plane direct to Paris. So that song make me to feel and thinking. So I have to confirm that a Kenya Airways. What I can give as a, a, a publicity, I will give a wrong publicity, whatever I will be, whatever I will be. It's my, my daughter is strong though. You see, my daughter is still sick. When I go to them, I will explain them, I mean, my daughter, she's sick. Nobody will care about, you know. Oh, that's very bad. It's very bad. Charlie. Very bad. <laughs> Because and then I went to complain, even to to, to suggest the med medicine. You see, so we are leaving now. I'm going to take another another flight direct to Paris. But I will never, never, never pass here. It's my last time. That's a shame. Yeah, it's bad. It's a big shame. Ah. is here in the morning on board a flight. It's supposed to land at 6.55, catch up the 7 o'clock flight. He said to board the next flight that's going to Cape Town. The flight left. That person is going on 4 o'clock as you promised. And the person is traveling since 15 or 6.30. I don't think that's fair. So it means if Africans are saying the way it is. Hey, it is what it is. We will remain like that uh, forever. So, uh, mm -hmm. And then we are not giving the person the reasons why we are keeping the person here. Yeah. 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 So yeah. 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 you need to set the person. Yeah. 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 Editing some of my videos that I took from visiting the beautiful places here in Cape Town, South Africa. But due to the airline that I used to come to South Africa, Cape Town, it has been the worst for me. So I would say Kenyan Airways is the worst airline that I have ever, ever used in my travel experience. I've been to about 11 countries, repeating two of them, uh, Dubai and I think... Uh, south africa the first time that i came i came in with ethiopian i mean most of my trips has been ethiopian airline big ups to ethiopian airline you don't know hell selassie but this time because we came as a group i think whoever booked it decided to book with kenyan airline and it's been the worst airline ever i've i've been stuck in this hotel room for the past two days just because we got there uh, on our departure time to Ghana, we got around 8 o'clock. They told us there is no flight. So we need to stay. It was a Tuesday, so we need to stay Tuesday night, Wednesday night, and then we fly on Thursday evening, which is today. So I'm just praying to God that it will not happen again. We wouldn't get there, and we will experience it. Now, let me take you back to when we're coming from Ghana. We got to the airport, and we're told that, okay, instead of flying at... Um, 9.30, we're going to fly at 10.30. So that was cool. I was like, okay, cool. So we go in there. I mean, the customer service to me wasn't the best. When you talk to the people, they don't really open up to talk to you. Like the waiter and the waitresses, they're like in a hurry to go somewhere. I don't know where, but it wasn't the best for me. 
I don't know of others, but it wasn't the best for me. Now, drop that and let's move on. So we got to, um, it was like, I think, five to six hours uh, flight or something. So we got to Nairobi, uh, Jomo Kenyatta Airport around 7.15. We had to rush to the next um, transit flight, connecting flight, because we were told the connecting one was uh, 7 30. It means that because they delayed us in Accra coming to Nairobi, when we got here, our connecting flight was gone. And we asked them, Yo, you, you told us that we we're gonna delay in Accra. Why didn't you communicate to those people here that? Um, because we you delayed us there, they have to wait a little bit for us to come. I don't know, you know, technically, I was speaking to someone. Uh, he has the technical know-how. Technically, he was trying to give some explanation. But to a layman, how many of us are technical people? Nope. Most of us are lay layman people who want to travel. So this is not the time for you to come and explain. Oh, technically, technically. At the end of the day, uh, we miss our flight. So from 7.30, we were asked, okay. Uh, so we asked them from 7.30 a.m., we asked them, what do we do next? They were just sitting down. Oh, we have to check that thing. We have to check this. We have to check that. I thought it was only my flight that had that issue. And then people started coming in. You know, my Nigerian people, they don't take ish for anything. I saw them fighting. Yo, you need to get me on the next flight. Because there was this brother uh, who had a conference that night in Zimbabwe, Livingston or Zambia, I don't know. And they said they can't they can get him a flight. We're like, yo, I'm going to sue you. You know, I'm like, we Ghanaians are like kind of cool. We don't like to, you know, argue or fight or do anything like, I mean, they were not fighting, but they were like on top of their voices. So like, we were cool. And then it got to our turn and we said, okay, when do we fly? They said the, uh, uh, the same day, but 4.30. I said, what? 4.30? So are you going to give us a place to hang out like a hotel or anything? They said, no. So it means that we were sleeping on the, the, the seat from 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. They said the flight is going to be like 4.30. So we were cool. We are hanging around. That is the first part of the issue. No food, no food, no water to drink. Yes, that's the biggest thing, the goodest song because it's just what's happening for us. From Sunday, we are here to still suffering. Can wow. you yes, from Sunday, you're no. still here. You were still here and never give a full no. name for oh. accommodation, no. you know. We still are sleeping over in, in the floor. No. It's my last time to. You're going to use it. I will never, never no. use it. You see? Never. Yeah, yeah. When when from I Sunday, from they Sunday, come there who, to now. Me and my daughter, from Sunday, last night, up to now. Today we I take a, a, another plane to go to take another plane direct to Paris. So that song make me to feel and thinking. So I have to confirm that a Kenya Airways, what I can give as a, a, a publicity, I will give a wrong publicity, whatever I will be, whatever I be. It's my daughter is strong though. You see, my daughter is still sick. When I go to them, I explain them. I mean, my daughter she's sick. Nobody will care about. You know, but that's very bad. It's very bad. Charlie. Very bad. <laughs> From Sunday. <laughs> because of social customs, no, no, no. Nobody can come to you. We were just hanging around, and then it got to three o'clock. We were like, okay, let's start heading towards the gate and see if we will, you know, since they said four thirty, we have to go early. We got there, and they said, sorry you're going to spend another two hours roaming about in the airport doing nothing. So that means we're going to fly at 6.30. I was like, oh my God. Why did we even take this flight? And the worst part is that when we got out around 4, uh, 7.30 a.m., they said, okay, they're going to give us lunch at 8 or 9 o'clock. So we were just hanging around hungry. It got to 8. We went there. Can we have 
uh, the voucher for the food. Okay, go to gate 23, you'll be served. We went and sit there for an hour. Nobody came. One lady came and said, oh, you said we should come and sit there. No, go to gate 16. We had to go up again. We got there, they said, no, this part is not for you. It's for those people going to this country. So we go back. They were tossing us like we were nothing. I mean, we all want to purchase, patronize the African enterprises. Uh, what I can say, uh, email address. Mm -hmm. He told me, go there and go write what you was happening to you from that day you come down up to now. Say, don't worry. I will do that. I will do that. No, it's terrible. You know, how you come to collect the money from people and you, you don't do nothing. And when my, when my brother bought this ticket, I said, okay, African Airlines, good. I didn't know that it was going to be like this. <laughs> to programs and meetings and conferences and all that I think is not a good one for me and I will rate uh, Kenyan Airways uh, 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 1 over 10 and even the one I don't know why, what I'm going to okay I'm going to rate them 1 over 10 because the flying and then the landing the takeoff and then the landing was perfect I didn't feel anything it was cool but aside that from that end to the other side it was pretty bad so I want to say this to everybody who is watching me right now um, to work within time, fly within time, land within time, and everything. I will not recommend Kenyan Airways to you because they will mess you up. So this is my message to everybody who is watching me right now. My trip to South Africa, Cape Town has been beautiful. Went through a lot of places, a lot of events. Maybe I'll make a video and tell you my first impression when I got here in Cape Town, South Africa. And put it up as a comment. Have you ever had that you know experience with Kenyan Airways let me know but for me Kenyan Airways is the worst airline ever peace out